Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Subhash Ashmishra and today's topic of discussion is Ovarians. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, share and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever any new video is uploaded as I am constantly uploading videos on machine learning and data science. Now let's get started. What is covariance? Covariance is the relationship between two dimensions or two variables. If you have one variable as x, another one variable as y, we try to find out the relationship between x and y. That is called as covariance. So, relationship between x and y means when a unit change in x occurs, how much it will impact the y. Whether increasing in, increasing in x will increase the y or will decrease the y. So, that is the covariance. So, how we will be able to calculate covariance? Let's understand it with a practical example. Now, let's say we have a data set which has a independent variable x as experience, another one dependent variable salary as y. So, in this data set, based on the experience, the salary is being provided. So, with one year of experience, the salary is 10,000, two years 15,000, three years 25,000. 4 years 30,000 and so on till 55,000. Okay. Now, let's say we want to find out the variance for the salary. As I have already discussed in the previous videos in majors of dispersion, how to calculate the variance. If you have not viewed that video, I will strongly encourage you to go ahead and view that video and have a look at it how to calculate the variance so that you will be able to correlate. I will link the no, link the link in the description and also in the i button above. All right. Now let's get started. So to calculate the variance for the salary, we have to find out the mean of this data points. Once the mean is being calculated, we will be subtracting each and every data point from the mean. Once we do that, then we square all the distances or square the values. And then we divide it with the number of data points, which is 7 over here. So for that, let's first calculate the mean. So the mean is, mean for the salary is 27,412.7. Once this mean is calculated, we will be calculating the variance for each and every data point. So the, for the first data point, it will be 10,000 minus 27,412.79. For fi from 15,000, it will be 15,000 minus 27,412.79. It will go for go till 55,000. Okay, once this is being done, the sum is being squared up and then the distance is being squared up and then it will be divided by 7. Now, so this is the square distances from the mean. Okay, each and every data point and the from the mean, whatever the distance they have, we have squared it. Once this is being done, the variance is being calculated based on the average of each and every distances. So, based on that, we can be able to write down the variance as, let's say, the number of data points is x and x of y, x of i. So, i is nothing but the data point number. So, for 10,000, it is x of 1. For 15,000, it will be x of 2. For 25,000, it will be x of 3. Till 55,000, it will be x of 7. And the mu of x is the mean of the salary data set. Okay, so we can be able to write down the number of, write down the variance formula as 1 by n into summation of i over, summation of i equal to 1 to n, x of i minus mu of x whole square. So here the n is nothing but the number of data points that we have. Okay, so x, x of i, as we have already discussed, it will be 10,000, then 15,000, 25,000 and so on. Mu of x is 27,412.7. Okay, so based on this analogy or this formula, we can be able to rewrite this formula in this way x of i minus mu of x square can be written as x of i minus mu of x into x of i minus mu of x. We can, let's say that we have experience as x and salary as y. Okay, so we can be able to rewrite this formula which is x of i minus mu of x into x of i minus mu of x this way x of i minus mu of x into y of i minus mu of i. 
based on this analogy whenever we describe the uh, find out the differences of each and every data point from the mean individual mean like for the x the mean is uh, the for the x which is experience the mean is the sub summation of 1 to 7 divided by 7 which is coming into like 28 by 7 which is 4 okay so 4 minus uh, so each and every data point like 1 minus 4 and then 2 minus 4 and so on for here it will be 10,000 minus 27 4 1 2 15,000 minus 27 4 1 2 and so on multiply them and we find out the we find out the value out of that so whatever the value we find out that is called as covariance okay so in covariance we find out the with unit change in x how is it going to impact the y okay means with increase in x whether the y is going to increase or decrease now let's understand this phenomena in an x on x y plane let's say in x axis we have experience and in y axis we have salary now these are the data points which are the meeting points of x and y okay so this is one data point which uh, is like the number of experience based on the number of experience whatever the salary we have okay so once we find that one let's say this is the mean for x and this is the mean for y okay now let's say we have two data points x and y which are being plotted over here which is which are greater than x and greater than greater than mu of x and greater than mu of y so let's draw the conclusion out of it and the meeting point of them is over here somewhere now if we want to find out the covariance based of these two data points that will be because x is greater than mu of x okay and y is also greater than mu of y so here we'll be getting the value as positive here we will also getting the value as positive so both the values are positive so multiplying both the positives we will get a positive value that means with unit change in x the y will also change in the positive direction or if the x increases then the y increases if the x decreases then the y decreases okay now let's consider another one point in which let's say x is less than mu of x and the y is wherever it is okay so here the x is less than mu of x so if the x is less than mu of x then based on the covariance formula x of i minus mu of x is negative because this is smaller value okay so negative and this is positive because it is already being bigger value so negative into positive will be negative okay so that means if the x decreases then the y will increase and if the x will increase then the y will decrease so this is called as the inverse covariance relations okay so based on this covariance we will be finding out the correlation coefficient okay and based on this correlation coefficient we will be finding out the feature importance i hope you guys are clear with covariance concept because it is very important to understand the correlation concept which we will be discussing in the next video until then stay tuned and enjoy thank you so much